Good morning. I'd like to say how delighted I am to be able to address you this morning, albeit remotely, at the Kidney Research UK Annual Fellows Day. It has been over a year since we have moved to a soft opt-out system of deemed consent for organ donation. This landmark decision is already making a difference in helping to give people across Wales better access to life-saving surgery and new organs, including, of course, kidneys. Crucially, we want the legislation to help make a society-wide shift in culture so donation becomes the norm. And Scotland is now following our lead and developing their own model of deemed consent legislation. This has been a long journey and we're looking to improve on the achievements so far. We will continue to promote the awareness of organ donation in our communities and help empower people to have those vital conversations with their families and loved ones about their wishes at the end of their lives. Since Deem Consent launched in 2015, many more people in Wales have become aware of donation and I'm keen to see the number of potential organ donors continue to rise. We want to ensure that every patient waiting for a kidney has the best chance of a match. Last year, I had the pleasure of attending Kidney Research UK's launch of their report at the Senedd on UK Green Hill Research, and specifically research here in Wales. I understand that some of you present today were at the event. It highlighted the key recommendations of the UK Green Hill Research strategy, which had then just been published. And the report emphasised the importance of research with a welcome focus on research and practice and the patient's experience going through the transplant process from surgery to recovery. The stories of children and adults where research had improved their treatment and life expectancy were both moving and inspiring. And we value the huge contribution that Kidney Research UK makes across Wales through funding research and encouraging cross-border collaboration, not least through continuing to pursue pioneering renal research here in Wales. That includes working closely with the Wales Kidney Research Unit led by Professor Fraser. The Wales Kidney Research Unit is supported by major investment through Health and Care Research Wales. The Welsh Government recognises that productive partnerships with the third sector organisations, such as Kidney Research UK, are a key driver of the excellent research undertaken at the unit. This allowed researchers to develop key areas of kidney research that integrate an all Wales strategy to test existing clinical approaches and to investigate new diagnostics and therapies for kidney disease. Kidney Research UK continues to play a significant role in helping to fund high quality research aimed at finding better treatments and highlighting the importance of organ donation and kidney treatment. And the fundraising work relies on the goodwill of dedicated volunteers who give their time on a regular basis and I'd like to recognise their major and generous contributions. The audience may be aware that Kidney Research UK has now launched its unique Nurture Biobank project. This is a major initiative to collect samples with linked data from 3,000 patients with chronic kidney disease and at least 800 with nephrotic syndrome and directly supports a key priority from the UK renal research strategy. The Welsh Government recognises there are threats to continued progress across key research areas in Wales. For example, from the continuing impact of austerity and the potential effects of the UK withdrawing from the European Union. It's clear to me that if we're to tackle the challenges that lie ahead, we must invest in high quality research to underpin the development of prevention initiatives, new treatments and efficient and well-designed services to support people with kidney disease. Added to this, of course, there's little doubt that the research and development community is an important economic sector in its own right bringing high quality jobs and economic growth to Wales. I understand that most of you in the audience have at some point had support from Kidney Research UK. Some will have been supported by research funding and subsequently become leaders in the field. I'm also aware that Kidney Research UK has a strong ethos of engaging patients, not only in the review of grant applications, but also in conceiving, implementing and communicating the outcomes of renal research studies. This is crucial to ensure that research is well designed and generates meaningful benefits for patients. Occasions like today are hugely important to our shared efforts, not just to inform, but to engage the research community, kidney patients and the public in research 
and to build that momentum in support of Kidney Research in Wales and its collaboration with Kidney Research UK. In closing, I'd like to thank you again for the opportunity to speak and to congratulate everyone involved for your hard work in organising today's event. I wish you a stimulating, productive and successful couple of days. Many thanks.